So we're here exploring music, live music. How do we play tracks live? Now by tracks, that applies to anything that you hear on a radio. Imagine you're listening to this on your phone, on whatever um, streaming service, trying to play it with your mates, trying to play it on your V-drums in a bedroom, trying to do, I guess what we ultimately do is take tracks apart and recreate them on stage with musicians. There's so much that goes into this, so much detail, and we start by listening. In front of us here we have a track and it's called The Flood, and we are exploring how A, we pull this apart and put it back together, what gear we use, how we do that, the options we have, whether we chop things and sample them out and play them on different pads, or we have loops, or have it on track. There are so many options and we're going to explore all of those options, right? But we're starting here, so Adam, tell me about your track. Uh, you know, it's a track made with various synths and drum machines and acoustic instruments, guitars and drums. I mean, it's, it's a good smattering of all kinds of crazy sounds. So it's open pretty sparse. Uh, there's a singer. We know there'll be a singer in the live situation. So we can go ahead and mute that track. So now we have a drum loop and a synth part in there. So we can choose how to break this up. Uh, for the loop, this is a great example of how to approach these things, whether we're gonna play the loop as written with our you know, breaking up individual samples or whatever instruments this is played on, or if we're gonna record it as a loop and play it back through whatever device, be it an SPDSX, or from the computer itself, if you're running a playback. There are certain ways of doing this. Ways that, are, if you're starting out in this, you can break down, you can do, you can just hit a pad and it plays for you. Or break it all apart and have it mapped across loads of pads or automated through Ableton. Loads of different ways of doing it, and we're gonna cover all these options as we go through this song in this video series. Now that we've had a listen through and we've sort of picked out the parts that we know we can play, there's another video where we'll go through analyzing how to break it all down and another video where we'll go through the options on how to play it back on various devices. 